Hello friends, I am Dej BK. Welcome to Dinosaur League. Today we will discuss Taliban's meeting in Norway and ongoing war between NRF and Taliban. Don't skip the video, watch till the end. Let's begin. The British Special Representative for Afghanistan and Pakistan, Nigel Kasi, and his delegation met with Acting Foreign Minister Malvi Amir Khan Mutaki in Norwegian capital Oslo yesterday. The Taliban have begun hostage taking policies following the hostage taking of protesting women. Today, the Taliban have arrested 40 female judges in Majare Sharif. Now, it has been seven days. Tamana Pariani and Parwana Ibrani Khail are in Taliban custody. According to the sources, Ahmad Masood and Amrullah Saleh traveled to Russia. Mullah Baradar and Mullah Ayakub are also there and another Taliban delegates visited Norway. A large number of Afghan civilians are protesting against the Taliban in Norway, chanting no to Taliban. Enes Hakani in Oslo has been charged with war crimes. Prime Minister of Norway who was himself was at the Serena Hotel at the Kabul during January 2008 attack by the Haqqani group said that he did not know that Enes Haqqani was at the Oslo meeting. How funny. Let me tell you the reality, the truth, what happened in meeting. Enes Haqqani, the part of the Taliban delegation at the meeting in Oslo, Norway, he was feared and suspicious of being detained. You can see his face. Enes Haqqani was traveling under the fake name of Muhammad Enes Jordan. ISIS commander Julfan assassinated in Panjshir by an unidentified man. Commander Julfan belonged to Khyber district. Before joining ISIS, ISIS, KP, he was part of TTP. In 2018, Afghan army kept him in NDS safe house, later freed after Taliban take over Kabul. And the Taliban's war crimes are continuing. It is estimated that hundreds of NRF fighters that surrendered since October after being given guarantees have all been executed on the spot. NRF fighters from the Bad Sahan resistance front are inflicting heavy damage on the Taliban's groups. During last days, it was reported that they managed to liberate most northern district Darwaj. NRF commander Wajir Sutul says the scope of war has shifted from guerrilla to offensive and Panjshir is coming soon. In the Rokha district of Panjshir, in a pre-planned attack by the National Resistance Forces on a Taliban checkpoint, 25 Taliban fighters were killed and several injured. Heavy clashes between Taliban and NRF under the command of heavy brigade took place in coast yesterday. NRF guerrillas are attacking the Taliban in Panjshir and killing 5 to 6 Taliban on daily basis. In Thakar province, the Taliban cut off the hair of a taxi driver because it was western style and it is banned in Islam. Taliban love guns and battle and wars. Now they started loving wrestling sport. Taliban hold a wrestling contest inside a mosque in Khen district of Panjshir. NRF commander Barya Lai Sangin says we cleared eight villages from Taliban and inflicted heavy casualties on Taliban. Thank God that our other resistance forces arrived from Panjshir and Andarab. We are stronger than before. A NRF sage, Khostova Firing, district of Panjshir, 48 hours of fighting, 20 Taliban were killed. Sharifullah Sangin, our brave commander, led the battle. The Minister of Interior in the Taliban government, Sirajuddin Haqqani, said in an interview with pro-Taliban media outlet that Afghanistan will become a threat to the United States if the state of non-recognition of the Taliban government continues. Taliban threatens US in reality. In the Nangahar province, NRF guerrillas detonated the Taliban's vehicle. Mine was placed on the Ranger vehicle, which later was detonated and the Taliban's inside were killed on the spot. Last night, in the Majare Sharif, NRF guerrillas attacked the Taliban. Two Taliban were killed and ten others injured. The attack was revenge for the killing of Commander Jamshid Khoristani last week. According to the pro-NRF, after ten hours of heavy fighting between the NRF under the commander Barya Lai Sangin and the Taliban, the coast district was conquered by national resistance forces. The Taliban left the area and took a Sangin's midwife as a hostage. Another fighters are active in coast fearing to face Taliban and defeat them. 
इट हैज बीन फोर डेज नाउ द तालिबान सेव लॉन्च्ड ए लार्ज स्केल ऑपरेशन इन खोस्ट व फिरिंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ बागलान प्रोमिस द तालिबान आर सेट टू हैव बॉम्ब्ड सिविलियंस हाउसेस किलिंग डजेंस इंक्लूडिंग विमेन एंड चिल्ड्रन नाउ इंटेंस फाइटिंग इज गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन एनआरएफ एंड तालिबान इन द ठक्कार एंड बाखा साहन प्रोविंसेस फॉर मोर लीक सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल इंटरनेशनल